Good morning, guys. Hurricane Jerry just went through here last night. It's pretty intense. I want to show you the aftermath. Oh my gosh. Would you look at this? It looks like someone has just been here working for hours and hours on end with a very, very little sleep. The damage isn't too intense here, but you can definitely tell that this was an area of effect. I mean, right there, right there, and we've got some cords everywhere. I mean, it's messy. Oh my gosh, but look at this. I mean, this is just everywhere. There's, oh, oh, inhabitants. Oh no, what do we do? There's, there's kids here. Oh no, are they the actual cause of all this mess? Is that what this is? Oh no, look at all of this. Everything is out of order, out of place. What are we gonna do? Oh, they're, they're still destroying things. Oh no, they're still destroying things. Ah, oh, they're chasing me. Run away. Ah, oh, no. In all seriousness, last night was a ton of fun filming for this project that I'm working on. It did take literally all night. I think I went to bed at five in the morning and then got up around 7.30, eight o'clock to get everything going for today. Even though I have a little bit of sleep, there is a lot to do today, as you can tell. Oh, grandma and grandpa are here. So we'll go say hi to them. Well, hey guys, how are you? Hey, good, how are, how you? are you? Good, did you guys get any sleep last night? We did, we got great sleep probably last night. Probably more than you. No, probably. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm gonna show you I found it. Okay, show oh, he me. Found his gold, he found his silver dollar. Oh wow. He wants to show us where. I found it right here. It's it's a a long 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 long. Oh my goodness, I think I dropped it there. Say no you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good girl, Penny. I packed up Penny and the boys. They are asleep right now. And we drove down here to button up everything that we have left with this trailer. We wanted to give Ellie, I don't know, a little a little space, a little time. She's not feeling very well. She's is in a lot of pain right now. Uh, but yeah, the boys and I are just here down. We're gonna take care of some things while we're down here and let Penny run because with all of the snow that we had yesterday, our entire backyard is mud yet again. So Penny is just enjoying the grass right now. Ready, 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 ready? Go get it! Good girl. You ready? Okay, come get on your bed. Okay, ready? One, yeah. two, three. Oh, yeah. How'd you get over there? <laughs> hey, hey, do you want to know something? Yeah. I think you're pretty special. Yeah. We're going to go camping this morning with a driver. Is that going to be pretty fun? Yeah. Yeah. A few days ago, I was talking about, I can't remember if it was on the video or if it was on Instagram. I think it was on Instagram. You know, my dad would tell me, he would say to me, he'd grab me and say, Jared, you have no idea how much I love you. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to know something, Jackson? Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much I love you. Yeah. I don't think your heart can even comprehend the amount of love my heart has for you. Uh -huh. And for Calvin. Uh-huh. Isn't that crazy? Are you going to go camping this day with a trailer? Would that be so fun? Yeah. And grandma should buy fishing rod and go fishing. A fishing rod? Have you been talking to Grandpa yeah. about fishing? Yeah. Do you know Grandpa's a really great fisherman? Yeah. Yeah. I would love to a do that A goldie with you. bear goes fishing too. <laughs> goldie bear does? Yeah. Good. I love you very much. I love you. And it's time to say goodnight to our friends. Can you say goodnight to our friends? Good night. Say, say I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not even really sure how to start this or what to say. I guess it's just kind of been just a sad day for us today. Ellie woke up this morning and was um, bleeding a lot um, in like clots and had severe back pain and stomach pain. And when she got up, she was lightheaded and she talked with the doctor and they basically confirmed that Ellie would be miscarrying. 
And so that's um, that's just kind of what we've been dealing with today, kind of the news. And it's been hard because this whole morning I, uh, I've i been working on this project and I haven't been with Ellie a lot today. And she's been in bed the whole day because she's been in that much pain and just not feeling all that great. Then the boys and I had to go down into town for a little bit. And while I was hesitant to do it at all just because I wanted to be with Ellie I actually I think we both enjoyed it we were talking about it at least I I told Ellie this that I enjoyed having the time to be in the van you know Jackson and Calvin fell asleep in the van and I I enjoyed having my time in the van just thinking and I was able to be with my thoughts and reflect and just think about the past month and the journey that we've been on here and then the whole the wide scheme of things right now I'm just thinking about me watching this in the future and just trying to express the feelings that I have about it and what I want to look back and remember and and feel and looking forward what I want to do And I've always been this type of person to say like, you know, there's always bumps in the road. And the trials that you go through don't define you, but the trials you overcome are the ones that define you. And I have a hard time even saying that this is a trial. It's such a, it's such a difficult thing, you know, and I think that's just part of, you know, going through this and going through life and having these things is, you definitely learn who you are during these times. And I'm just grateful that I have Ellie during this time. (laughs) I know she's the one who's going through it right now, but Ellie is, Ellie's strong and I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful to have her as my wife. And she's just, she's just the best. We talk a lot about community on our YouTube channel and how We have a huge support group. And then I remember um, in the van on on the way driving home um, how wonderful and supportive our family is. My brother called me today and just said, this sucks. You know, this is not fun. I'm not going to say much, but I want you to know that if you need a listening ear, I'm here for you. And I think that's like the best thing that anyone can say is, you know, a, a lot of people offer their advice and that's great. And we, we love that. But I think it's nice just to know that someone is there who will listen and listen to your thoughts. And I like that right now. I'm kind of just doing that with you guys is I'm just telling you how I feel and telling my thoughts, but I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my wife and kids. And this is just the beginning and we'll get through this. Tomorrow, definitely, I want to spend time with Ellie. I think there's going to be lots of cuddling, which I'm a big fan of. (laughs) So I think we're gonna end the vlog there. And um, I just wanna say thank you guys for your support because it is very appreciated all around us. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow.